Hello all, uh, welcome to the session 3 of unit 6 in mechanical vibrations uh, in the third semester mechanics of machines course. The, at the end of the session you will come to understand what are the different types of vibrations. The contents which I am going to discuss in this session are the types of vibrations and uh, various types of free vibrations. So in the previous session, um, first let us see the what we have discussed in the previous session. In the previous session, we have discussed about uh, uh, various terms associated with the vibrations. Uh, those are uh, like uh, frequency, time period, resonance, amplitude, simple harmonic motion, uh, natural frequency, damping, uh, and then uh, even we have discussed natural vibrations, forced vibrations, damped vibrations. So these are the things which we have seen in the previous session. So what are the, so some of the important terms are uh, frequency. What does a frequency means? So frequency means it is a number of cycles per given unit time is said as the frequency. <coughs> and then what is time period? It is time period. It is the time period to complete one cycle is said as time period and the next important term is maybe resonance what is a resonance we have seen in this uh, we have discussed in the previous session that is a resonance is a, when the applied frequency is equal to the natural frequency then the system is said to be under the resonance condition and also we have seen amplitude what is an amplitude so amplitude it is the maximum displacement of the body from the equilibrium or the mean position is said to be the amplitude. Then amplitude can be of single amplitude or double amplitude. So and also we have seen the damping. So what is damping? So damping means it is the opposition offered by the of a resistance offered to the motion is said as damping and also we have seen the natural frequency so it is the frequency of the vibrations natural free free vibrations it is the frequency of free vibrations is that as natural frequency these are some important terms which we have discussed in the previous session so in this session as i said we will discuss the various types of vibrations so the vibrations can be majorly categorized into three types uh, that is the uh, first one is free or natural vibrations and forced vibrations damped vibrations so we have uh, in the previous session i have enlightened about all these three uh, vibrations just i have set the definitions of these three vibrations see, here we will see how what happens to what is in an elaborated way so first is a free vibration so what is a free vibration so when there is no external force acts on the body after giving an initial displacement then the body is said to be under free or natural vibrations if a body vibrates of continuously after giving an initial displacement without any external force then the body is said to be free vibrations say if a body is vibrating is a vibrating without any external force after giving an initial displacement then the body is said to be free or natural vibrations so the frequency of the free vibrations is called natural frequency or free frequency so here you can see an uh, uh, mass or a spring which is vibrating uh, uh, with an initial displacement that is is an example for free vibrations you can see here how the amplitude is gradually decreasing over a period of time so it is after a certain length of duration of time the amplitude decreases very gradually so you can see the how uh, with an initial displacement of mass the spring is vibrating so the next uh, second uh, one is a forced vibration here uh, in this case the body vibrates under the influence of external force if a body vibrates 
under the influence of external force then it is said to be forced vibrations so the external force the applied to the body is a, is a periodic disturbing force which is caused by the unbalancing unbalanced forces are developed by the system so here uh, in the free vibrations uh, the vibrations of the system will be same frequency as that of the applied force so here you can see there is a force applied on this particular system so due to this force uh, the this spring is vibrating continuously and here you can see the amplitude remains constant you can see here the amplitude is not decreasing over uh, with respect to time it is same throughout the say uh, uh, vibrations so that is forced vibrations i hope it's clear the forced vibrations means it is a when a body vibrates under the influence of external force then the body is said to be under forced vibrations so next let us see the damped vibrations so when there is a reduction in amplitude over every cycle of vibration then the force uh, then the motion is said to be damped vibrations so you can see here how there is a so this is the damping that is which is opposes the this moment the spring moment this the resistance to this moment is said as the damping and you can see the decrease just wait uh, here you can see the decrease in amplitude there is no gradual decrease there is a decrease in amplitude over every cycle then uh, in the damped vibrations so this is due to as said it is a certain amount of energy possessed by the vibrating uh, system is or is dissipated in overcoming this type of uh, resistance these are the frictional resistance the energy associated with this vibrating system will be uh, dissipated in overcoming this type of uh, dampers or the frictional resistances i hope it's clear damped vibrations means there is a reduction in amplitude over every cycle then the motion is said to be damped vibrations so the next it is types of free vibrations under the free vibrations there are three types of uh, three classifications one is longitudinal vibrations next one is transverse vibrations the next one is last one is torsional vibrations first let us see the longitudinal vibrations so when the particles of a shaft or a disk moves parallel to the axis of the shaft so you can see the figure uh, as shown in figure uh, these vibrations are known as longitudinal so this when the shaft moves uh, parallel to the axis of this shaft that is you can see this moment so which is moving parallel to the axis of shaft which is said to be longitudinal vibrations so here in this case uh, the uh, the shaft is continuously elongated and short uh, shortened alternatively so when it is subjected to a longitudinal vibrations if the shaft is subjected to a longitudinal vibrations it is elongated and shortened alternatively so which causes uh, tensile and compressive stresses to be induced alternatively in the shaft so you can see the animation of an longitudinal vibrations and then this disk is moving uh, parallel to this shaft so this such a kind of vibrations is said as longitudinal vibrations that is okay so this is about the longitudinal vibrations so in a longitudinal vibrations what happens this disk you can see here this disk is moving parallel to the axis of shaft then such a kind of vibration is said as longitudinal vibrations in a longitudinal vibrations this shaft you can see which is shortened and elongated continuously when it is subjected to a vibration due to this uh, the, there is a tensile and compressive stresses are alternatively induced in this shaft so you can uh, compressive stress and longitudinal stress. alternatively it is inducing on this shaft the next is a uh, transverse vibration so this is the one uh, here in this case the particles of a shaft or disk move approximately perpendicular to the axis of shaft this is the axis of the shaft so these uh, particles of this disk moves approximately 
perpendicular to this axis of shaft then the vibrations are said to be transverse vibrations you can see uh, here in this case the shaft is straight and bent alternatively so there is uh, the shaft will be straight and then it will be bent alternatively by inducing the bending stresses in the shaft you, there will be bending stresses in the will be induced in the shaft alternatively so you can see here uh, the animation how the shaft is uh, uh, moving or uh, uh, move pa approximately perpendicular to the shaft so this is this particular uh, body or uh, the disc is moving approximately perpendicular to the shaft so, so that is uh, this type of movement is said as transverse vibrations here in this case uh, as i said uh, the shaft is a uh, straight and bent alternatively so once it will be straight now it is straight and now it is bent so alternatively the shaft will be straight and bent and then due to this a bending stress will be induced in the shaft because this is about the transverse vibrations so the next one is a uh, torsional vibrations uh, here uh, in the torsional vibrations uh, when the particles of a shaft so or disc move in a circle about the axis of a shaft so this uh, the particles of it or the disc when it is move about a circle about the axis of a shaft then it is said as the vibrations are said as torsional vibrations so here in this case the shaft is twisted so it is if it is it is twisted and you can see here so when it is the when the disc if it is uh, subjected to like a circular movement then it is uh, the shaft is uh, the disc is shaft is subjected to a twisted and untwisted alternatively okay and then because of this a torsional shear stress uh, will be developed in the shaft the shear <coughs> So you can see the animation for a better understanding. So here you can see the twisting and untwisting which is happening on the uh, shaft alternatively. So once it is twisted and then comes back to its original position that is untwisted. So continuously the motion will be happens like this and, uh, and due to this a torsional shear stress are developed or, the, or induced in the shaft. So I repeat uh, the torsional vibrations means if you put the particles of a shaft or the disc this is the disc these particles move in a circle with respect to this shaft or the axis of this shaft then such vibrations are known as torsional vibrations you can see very clearly where this disc is moving in a circle to this axis of shaft such a vibrations are said as torsional vibrations so and also you can see the twisting and uh, continuous twisting and or alternative twisting and untwisting of the uh, shaft because of this motion uh, which also causes a uh, shear torsional shear stress uh, in the shaft so this is about the things which we wanted to discuss in this session now let us see the multiple choice questions of this session so for the first one is uh, when there is a reduction in amplitude over every cycle of vibration then the body is said to have free vibration, forced vibration, damped vibration. What, what kind of vibration is this? We have discussed, right? So it is a damped vibration. If there is a reduction in amplitude over every period of over every cycles, that is uh, said to be uh, free, uh, sorry, that is said to be a damped vibration. Next one is a uh, in transverse vibration, particles move approximately dash to the axis of the shaft. That is, uh, the options are perpendicular, in a circle, parallel. That is, so in a transverse vibration, which we have discussed, right, it is uh, perpendicular to the axis of the shaft. So the movement of these particles move almost perpendicular, like this. The, the shaft will move, or the, or the particles of the shaft will move but almost perpendicular to the axis of the moon shaft so the next one is uh, when no external force acts on the body after giving it an initial displacement then the body is said to be under force row vibrations free vibrations damped vibrations what is what kind of vibrations is this it is what it is uh, a free vibrations 
so once after giving an initial displacement there is the body keeps on vibrating without any external force then the vibrations is said to be free vibrations so the next is a in a longitudinal vibration particles move to the how it they move it is dash to axis of the shaft the you can see the answer there itself uh, the options are perpendicular in a circle parallel so it is parallel to the axis of the shaft so the next is a uh, in torsional vibration particles move dash to axis of shaft uh, that is in a perpendicular in a circle or parallel what happens in a torsional vibrations so the moment will be in a circle that is the the particles of a disc or shaft will move something like like this if it moves like this uh, then it is said as torsional vibrations when the body vibrates under the influence of external force then the body is said to be free vibration forced vibration damped vibration natural vibrations it is a uh, forced vibrations which of the following is a type of free vibrations longitudinal vibration transverse vibrations torsional vibrations a b c that is all these three are whether they are belong to free vibrations what is the answer so it is the d all these three that is a longitudinal transverse torsional vibrations all these three are belongs to free vibrations the last one is a for the same dimensions of the shock which of the following has the greater natural frequency so longitudinal vibrations transverse vibrations depends on the thickness depends on the length so the answer it is a a longitudinal vibrations so, so with this this session is completed so we'll see in the next session uh, uh, these are the things which i have referred for this um, uh, session uh, hopefully i hope you could able to understand the various types of vibrations and thank you for listening thank you